Happy Friday, Assumption! I'm Rose. And I'm Rhea. And welcome back to the Nightly News. Congrats to the cast and crew of The Wonders of Islam. You guys are great, and thanks for coming, guys. Today, progress reports come out. Hard to believe the fourth quarter is almost over. Yeah. And the Kona Ice Truck comes today. Tomorrow's First Holy Communion. Congrats! And there's no school next Friday. Yeah! yeah. Tuesday, May the 1st, 8th grade has their confirmation practice in preparation for their confirmation that Saturday. And now, on to Akuch with the scripture of the week. My name is Christopher Musil. I am fanning for a cute tongue. The scripture of the week is, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives in and believes in me will never die. John 11:25. Means, uh, we have to believe in God down here. And then when we die, we'll go up to heaven and have eternal life. So I think it means that even if you die, you will go to heaven if you believed in Jesus on earth. I think it means to be to pray, to be kind, and to um, do what Jesus tells us. When it says, I am the resurrection and the life, whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. I think that means if you believe in God on earth, you will be in heaven with him eternally. What God's trying to say is you need to believe in him to live your, the rest of your life in paradise with him. We're here with Charlie Lawrence. What are you going to do this summer? Uh, I'm going to try to lose all the knowledge I just learned this past year. <laughs> this summer, I'm going to Key Largo. And on the way, I'm going to make lots of stops. And, and we're going to test out our snorkels while we're going at two hotels. This summer, I'm going to the beach. This summer, I'm going to see my cousins, and they might, and I, and I'm going to see, I might see them for a week, and um, I'm going to the beach with my family. This summer, my aunt and uncle are coming, and we're going to stay at the beach for a little bit. Well, this summer, I'm going to Hawaii. This summer, I'm going to Denmark. Um, I might be going on a like vacation or doing a summer camp and I'll just spend time with my family. Welcome to the Whatever Show! Welcome to the Whatever Show! Today we're having a foam sword fighting tournament. Our first battle will be between Rose and Shelby. Fight! <laughs> Our second battle will be between Kate, Bailey, and Ria Saldejeno. Fight! Oh, God. <laughs> our third battle and our final battle will be between Rose and Rita. Let's go fight! What's up? It's Lil Ginger. You know what it is. Lil Ginger time. Let's hit it. As you can see, I'm not wearing my sweatshirt, which is totally okay. But today, we did a shooting competition, so let's get right into it.
It's Lil Ginger. He's back. Uh huh. Yes, he is back. All right. After the shooting competition, we have our winner. He is Wallace Grissett. Okay, thank you. And now we're headed to the interview with Coach Polster about the future of this year's softball season. All right, so Coach, it's Lil Ginger time here. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. Yeah, I think it's funny. Really is about You're the best. You're yes, the best. I am the best. All right, let's get to these questions. All right, first question. It's about softball, all right? I like softball. Yes, you do. I know you like softball. Okay, so the first question is, what are your expectations for this season? Um, boys or girls? Both. Uh, hopefully for both teams to improve every day in practice. Okay. And hopefully our goal is obviously to reach the championship game like last year and win. Good, good expectation. But as long as the girls are having fun and the boys are having fun as well. That's the important part. Now, second question. The second question. Do you think you can win the championship four times in a row for the boys? Four times in a row is hard to do, but um, I really think we have a good core group of boys as long as they stay eligible um, I, and as long as no one gets hurt, I think we can definitely bring back the championship for the fourth straight year. Sounds good. I like it. All right. Now, this question is interesting. So, of all the teams in the diocese, which one would you think would be the biggest threat in achieving another championship? Girls or boys? Both. Girls, Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart, all right. You weren't expecting that one, really. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, I think Sacred Heart is going to be pretty. They, they have a lot of girls coming back from last year's too. So. Um, for the boys, I mean, I, it's really open. I mean, there's any between St. Paul's Beach, San Jose, San Juan. Uh, so I really think we're probably the four top teams. But you never can underestimate any of the teams in the diocese because I mean, it's a new beginning, it's a new year, new coaches, and um, anyone can beat anybody on any given day. Sounds good, coach. Good luck in the season. All right, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yes, sir, Ginger. Thank you. <laughs>